This is part three of a series of information geometric proof on how to establish um, the golden ratio in the three, four, five triangle. That's the symbol for the three, four, five triangle. It's not actually 345. It's three parts to four parts to five parts. And this is a very um, interesting geometric proof. It actually comes from a book by H.E. Huntley, and he called it the Divine Proportion. This is, again, another one of my Bibles, like the book by Robert Lawler. Robert Lawler did his in the early 1980s. This book was published in 1970. So this was the book that inspired great teachers like Robert Lawler. And the diagram that we see here on the board, so the diagram that we see here is... We're going to show the golden ratio inside the 345 triangle. And so Huntley's showing the algebra to do it. And he calls it a familiar triangle. And I'll just read that little sentence, the first sentence that says, A well-known triangle of ancient fame was used by Egyptian surveyors for registering a right angle. A cord was divided by knots into three segments in the ratio of three, four, five. When the ends are brought together to form a triangle, the angle subtending the five unit segment is a right angle. So what I'd like to show is that what Huntley is saying is that they took a string like this, the ancient Egyptian builders, they needed to get a 90 degree angle to build their windows and doors and roofs. So they said, we're going to divide this into three. They divided this into 12. So they put um, this distance here is three to that corner. And then from here, they went four units across there. And from there, if this, to get the right angle at the top, we have to know that that last bit touches the three here. And you can see that it does. So this bit here was very important. It's called a right angle. It's our 90 degree angle. And that's the key to our universal systems of free energy. We need the 90 degree angle to go multi-dimensional. It's a really important critical angle. It's really just a quarter of the circle. So he, so um, I'm going to draw the three, four, five triangle. Um, visualize that there's nothing here, right? Or I'm just going to start off with a three, four, five triangle. I'll do that in yellow. So the A to B, and when we do mathematics, we always um, give everything a name. So that's A, we'll call that B. And to give this point here, that's going to be our triangle. Um, so Huntley calls it the Egyptian triangle. We know that Pythagoras studied 22 years in ancient Egypt before he set up his school in um, uh, Greece and Crotona and in Italy as well. So this, this is one of the keys to constructing the universe, the 345 triangle. Is, a really, is equally important as the golden ratio. So now we're going to learn how to get the golden ratio in this humble three, four, five Pythagorean triangle. Um, normally, if I had a compass here, I want to bisect this angle here. We'll call this angle here E. And normally when you get a compass, if I, um, if I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take half this base, D. Right? So there's that point D is the half of the three. So I take that and I draw an arc because what I want to do is I want to split. It's called bisecting an angle into two. I want to, um, I want, I do an arc from C to D from this point. I arc it down and to, to, to work out how to get this line going through, I get that same distance. I put my compass here and I draw an arc down here. So I draw an arc like that. I, I take this distance here. I, I put this distance here. I put it there and I arc it across. So I arc there, and where these two arcs intersect, we'll call it point F. Um, we'll call that point F. Um, where they intersect gives me, um, we need a longer ruler. So what I do is I get my level, because I'm a bricklayer. I'm going to draw a long line. I'm going to draw a long line going straight through. And you notice that, so now, if um, this, when you put a dot here and a dot there, that means both these angles are equal. We've bi we've bisected the angle, and it went, and that where it hits the vertical line AB, um, we're going to call that the point O. 
And Ahu is always represented for the origin, the origin or the center of the circle. So from this point, from this point, I'm going to draw a circle. So um, I'll just grab myself, say, normally when I draw a circle, I get my, um, I get something like a circle here. So I want to draw a circle. So I might just do that in orange. So you can see it as I go around. So I've drawn myself a circle. And what's important now is that we're going to extend this original line through the origin, the bisected angle, and we want this point here. This is a critical point called L. So we got, and the other point over here, we'll call this V. I'm going to write these in pink. You got L, we've got O for the origin, it's the center. Where it hits the circle here, we'll call it V. And they all come to this bisected angle at E. I, was, I hope you notice what this says. This is the most important bit. L, O, V, E. Observe that, the love. Observe the line L, O, V, E. Now, some of the information. Um, we can also, um, we notice that when we, on the, on the longer side, the hypotenuse, the A, E, when we um, do a perpendicular to meet the center, that also has special properties as well. So I'm going to put that line in. So now we have everything that we need. We have, a, we'll call that point G. Okay, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you um, the facts, the mathematical um, proportions that are contained in here. So, um, so EL, where EL, so EL is the long line, EL divided by LV divided by the diameter of the circle is the golden ratio. I'll repeat that again because that's the main thing. The long line EL divided by the diameter of the circle. So, so this to that is the golden ratio, 1.618. In fact, um, EL, because um, in fact, EL, the whole distance EL is 1.618. So EL as a measurement, E equals 1.618 dot 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 the next one is LV so the diameter of the circle LV divided by the shorter segment EV equals um, phi as well and that means if this was like a pine cone if this was 13 and the shorter distance was 8 in Fibonacci numbers the ratio of 8 to 13 is 1.618 as an approximation. Now BE, um, let's look at BE. So BE is the base of the triangle divided by BO. BO is over here. So that is in the ratio of two divided by one. So what that means is that if that's one, this is two. So that gives us root five over here. So that, that's why we could do, that's how we got the point D is that I took this distance and it was the midpoint of the base. So we've got the ratio of two. And then also if we've got EG divided by AG, where are they? Let's look at, let's look at those. So EG, EG divided by AG, there's AG and EG. So that, that point here where the right angle went is in the golden ratio, is in the ratio of three divided by two, because if that's five, that's two and that's three. So we've got three divided by two. We've also got AE. We've also got AE divided by EG. And they're in the proportion. So AE, this long distance, divided by EG by there, is also five divided by three. And then we have another proportion of eight divided by five. You can see that these are all the Fibonacci numbers that are coming up. When we divide A, B, the vertical, by, by divide the vertical by A, O, which is the segment, this one here, this is in the ratio of 8 divided by 5. So these are very important harmonic points. It contains literally the mathematics of the universe.